at Nam. I'm a newbie here offering a general reading and always take what resonates. I'm getting a lot um, and we'll see what comes through. And this feels like an earth angel reading. Um, I suspect if you were drawn into this um, video, there is something here for you. The word liberation is coming up, like liberating yourself. They gave me some song lyrics this morning and it, it was the remix version. And it's like allowing something to transform and you've been here to help transmute. And rather than feeling like you're constantly cast aside, trust that you've been protected and that you are on the right path, right? Not like right or wrong. It's like, it's part of why you came to be. And continue to dream, continue to dream. A lot of the times that you were, your heart was open in one direction or you're brought into a community, you're brought into a workplace, you were there to illuminate and that illumination isn't always pretty. It doesn't always feel good and it may have felt really burdensome. And now rather than lose hope that you are able to feel joy it's time to call up for support and ask for what you need specifically not only to carry out your mission comfortably but also to feel joy because you in that energy of joy and lightheartedness is how they're able to come through quicker and easier to in initiate change healing and growth and bring in love on this planet so just like they're kind of giving me the scenario now i don't know hr i don't work in hr but just like you go to hr to get your ergonomically correct desk <laughs> or you would hr can protect you against some dumbass in the workplace ideally um your guide team protects you you can ask for protective orders from your team so that your energy is is clean that you're uplifted and again your comfort is important your joy is needed on this planet they were also giving me like like the the scene in never ending story where Sebastian has to name it it's like you need to name what you want and trust that your prayers because of your team and who you channel in and who you guide your prayers manifest miracles and sometimes it's the process of getting there to initiate all the change doesn't always look so pretty and so reevaluate there also when i was reading uh, a book yesterday really looking at the seven of swords in a different way and perhaps that's relevant here that your thought process now needs to be revamped, reevaluated, and look back at your experiences as you bringing something to the collective. And some of what's been washed away from you was necessary. And give thanks and gratitude for that and, and start to kind of look back with a new lens of love. Um, the bench in front of me, the arm, armrest, maybe time to rest the burdens or um, sit back and allow. Um, two other things, what was it? Um, as an earth angel, you might have gone unnoticed in the work that you have done. And my grandfather came to mind. Um, he was. A, a gorilla and I remember him watching this like documentary or history channel thing um, and I didn't know his story at the time it wasn't later till he was interviewed by someone um, from the University of Maryland that had any a clue of what he had done he always kept that under wraps and I remember him sitting there so like just sitting there after the credits were gone and just sat there it was almost like looking at a blank screen and I, I feel like he wanted credit he was like baffled that his service wasn't recognized and I feel like your level of service 
isn't it's more underground <laughs> rather than on the forefront as some leaders and perhaps it is now time for you to rest you've done your work um, and continue to manifest through prayer and continue to name what you need you have seen things that others wouldn't see and you called in energies that were needed at the time thank you all right let's take a look at the cards Oh, two, two just kind of like flew out in the wind. Surrender. And some... Oh. I feel like let love in. Let love, let, let love in again. Uh, I feel like since these flew out, we should look at the bottom deck energy. And, um, What conversation are you having with your team? What conversation are you having with yourself? You can go ahead and screenshot these so you can get more from it. Uh, this deck is not put out for sale. Just let's see now. Let's take a look at the portal. No? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this deck was calling out. I like the way this deck, the cardstock matters. The way this deck feels in my hands is great. <laughs> I like it. And those of you who read reversals, uh, I guess I flip them around a couple times, um, that it matters. So nice to sit and watch birds fly. Someone told me one time, uh, he's like, birds fly for fun. Birds fly for fun. I feel like that's relevant to the way that you love, love unconditionally. And you, you do it and you are, you bring acts of service in that love is necessary. Let's see what we got, we got a lot. Let's see, ambition, page of needles, bringing in information, like you bringing in information rather than it coming to you, I'm saying. Providing your team will continue to provide for you. What felt like an obstruction, uh, I feel like it's protection. I love this for you. Like you're further along on your spiritual journey than you give yourself credit for. Judgment, self-doubt, relinquish the self-doubt. I think that's where the Seven of Swords is coming in for you. Yep. And the deck split, let's see what this one is. Mm. while you came in especially in the early stages of your incarnation in this lifetime were very painful right and rather than regress to that pattern of either self-loathing self-doubt or giving 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 some of your mission is to fucking put your foot down right and call on your team for protection right bring in that protective order and allow yourself to be freed from self-sacrifice right you sacrifice enough simply being here on this planet in this lifetime damn didn't expect that all right You're no longer going to be cast aside. You're going to be put in good hands. That resonates with me. <laughs> so thank you. <sighs> it is so beautiful here. I think that is one thing that brings me home and perhaps it's relevant for you is to get out in nature so that you can bring in the energies you need um, to continue and, and to lighten the rest. The armrest is really standing out. I don't know if it was somebody who sat there before, but I think it's more rest. Allow the change, open up to the change, bottom deck. It's happening. It's moving. It's moving. It's moving forward in the material. That's uh, this deck I, I do equate to energy and the, and, and the material changing. Um, so, so 
Uh, suspect. Uh, the word suspect when it come out. Um, so questioning any more. It's like your intuition and your service was is spot on, and it takes time to get it right. When you're learning to ride your bike, there you know there's training wheels. When you're learning to walk, there are falls, right? And those are part of how you learn to deliver, decipher, and bring forth the energy needed on this planet in this lifetime. You are a beacon. <laughs> you are a ray of light uh, doing great acts of service. And some of that journey is quite lonely and doesn't always have to be. Sending lots of, oh, bridge, 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 bridge. You are the bridge. <laughs> Bridging the gap between the earthly and the heavenly. Yeah? Alright. Well, I do hope this served well. Take what resonates. Lots of love.